I am told that there are preparations for COP29. I think they should be cancelled. <laughs> because it is possible for us to agree on a framework that will bring everybody on board. And as a continent, we will be going to COP28 with a clear mind on what we need to do and how Africa and the Global South can work with the Global North, not as adversaries, but as partners to be able to resolve the climate crisis and present ourselves the opportunity to have a win-win outcome that has no finger pointing. I am a very strong believer that with the right investments, Africa can present the opportunity to decarbonize global manufacturing and industrialization and provide for green growth. This is not an occasion for us to do the usual, north versus south. I think it will be irresponsible of us to continue that conversation. The south is as in danger as is the north on this matter of climate change. None of us is safe. And therefore, we should act in concert, we should act together, and we should seek a win-win outcome. The second session of the UN Habitat Assembly is now officially open, and I thank you. Mr. President, words cannot express our sincere gratitude for the kindness and the profound words you have shared with us, and for finding time to inaugurate this second session of the UN Habitat Assembly. I thank you. Distinguished delegates, we have come to the end of the first part of our inaugural meeting. I would like to request...